NSC, request spacecraft configure for launch. Roger. Thank you. QAM? QAM. Could you get the alert? At T minus four minutes and holding, this is Delta Launch Control. The spacecraft is currently being configured for launch today at 1.4708 p.m. Eastern. The discussion that was going on about some red line information, they wanted to make sure that they had the correct data in that particular document to make sure that we did not um, get a hold called when we did not need one or that it was able to call a hold if it needed. They have cleared that particular issue for flight today. At T minus four minutes and holding, this is Delta Launch Control. Proceed with the terminal count at the end of the hold. Roger. CLCDR, verify water pressure is 125 plus or minus 25 PSID. Verified. FMA, board latch on. On. LCDR, established countdown limit conditions. T minus four minutes are on. On. Load release, verified. Stand by for release of the hold. Cycling lock tanks in. At T minus four minutes and holding, this is Delta Launch Control. We we just came out of a scheduled built-in ten minute hold. We are awaiting final status checks from NASA Boeing launch controllers and deep impact officials to make sure we are ready to proceed. All appears to be continuing well in the count and we are moving toward the last few moments in the countdown. We will now go to a shot of the Deep Impact Ground Station. This is where the Deep Impact Test Team is located, giving commands to the spacecraft during countdown, assessing its readiness for launch, and troubleshooting when necessary. It is located at the Astrotech Payload Processing Facility, just west of Kennedy Space Center. At T-minus three minutes and counting, this is Delta Launch Control. Minus three minutes. OSM, third stage SNA permit closed. Closed. SSE, third stage SNA arm. Arm on. Prop one, vehicle fuel tank press open. Open. Prop one, vehicle umbilical purge open. Open. FSC, bat one heater control exit. Exit. Battery two control ex exit. Exit. NSE, report spacecraft is go. Spacecraft is go. At T minus two minutes and counting, this is Delta Launch Control. We just heard a go for spacecraft to go to internal power. We expect to hear the first stage oxygen vents will be closed, allowing the first stage to pressurize. We just received the final go for liftoff today at 1.4708 p.m. Eastern. T minus 60 seconds. T minus 60 seconds. Just seconds away now from the beginning of the deep impact six month journey to impact the Kamal Temple One. T 
T-minus 45 seconds. DLCDR 17B, launch enable flight. Flight. ATC-3, main power disable on. On. T-minus 35 seconds. Hydraulics go. T-minus 30, T minus 30 seconds. seconds. Everything is go at this time for the launch of deep impact. T minus 20. T minus 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition and liftoff of a Delta II rocket carrying deep impact. NASA's journey to unlock the mystery of the solar system's origin. Passing an altitude of three miles, downrange distance 13 miles, and coming up on 2,000 miles an hour. First stage performance still looking Eight. good, and we have exceeded max Q. All ground start motors have tapered off, and we have reached burnout. And the air starts have ignited, and all six ground start motors have jettisoned. See the normal uh, level of disturbance after solid motor jettison, and it, that has damped out nicely. We're now passing T plus 86 seconds into the mission. Gra uh, correction, air start solid motors all burning symmetrically, and they've passed their peak chamber pressure coming up on T plus 105 seconds. Stage system still looking good. Now passing an altitude of 19 miles, downrange distance 45, and a velocity of over 4,000 miles an hour. Main engine and verniers continue to burn well, good chamber pressures there, and we are tapering off, reaching burnout of the air start motors. Jettison. All three air start motors have jettisoned. Pressurize the LOX tank. We have uh, reset the relief reset. And we can confirm a slow increase in LOX tank pressure. Now passing T plus 150 seconds. First stage performance still looks good. Main engine and verniers still burning well. Nice good chamber pressure there. Everything continues to look good with the deep impact payload on board. The nine solid rocket strap-on boosters have been jettisoned, and the deep impact spacecraft is on its way to catch up to Temple One in July. We are now hearing Boeing's Mark Levine in the NASA telemetry lab, where real-time telemetry from the vehicle is coming in from the downrange tracking stations. up on T plus 200 seconds, now passing an altitude of 44 miles and a velocity of 8,000 miles per hour. The engine and verniers uh, continue to stay at the levels they should be, burning well. up on T plus 230 seconds. First stage continues to look good. First stage data levels are where they should be. Passing T plus 245 seconds. T 
next event will be uh, float switches followed by Amico. Float switches have come in, and we have enabled Miko. There's Miko. Main engine has cut off. Both Verdi are still running well under tank pressure. And there's Zico and one, two, step. We've separated the stages. It is looking good. Second stage is just ignited. Chamber pressure coming up, looking good. There goes the fairing. We've unlatched. One, two, three, and jettison. The first stage cutoff took place as well as first, first and second stages no separated with second stage ignition occurring moments now, later. We also saw seconds. the fairing cover protecting the deep impact spacecraft jettisoned about four minutes and 56 seconds into the flight. The second stage will continue to burn until nearly 10 minutes into the flight when the second stage cuts off for the first time. The vehicle then coasts for about 16 minutes before the second stage is restarted. A little over 13,000 miles per hour.